In this video, I'll be explaining how to divide our rational expressions. So remember, dividing rational expressions, guys, is just like dividing fractions. So if you recall, and there was kind of like a little uh, phrase, if you haven't heard it, where it's kind of like the keep, change, flip. So keep, change, and flip. So we're going to be doing the same thing now, but with our rational expressions. So like, for example, this is a complex one. Now, this step isn't shown here, but I'll show you. This is the same as one half divided by three fourths. Then we would keep, change, flip, right? Keep, change it to multiplication, and flip. So we have the reciprocal now of three fourths, which is four thirds. Then multiply just like before. You end up with four over six, but then of course simplify to two thirds. So again, we're focusing on still the um, same process but now keep in mind, um, we have our polynomials. So if there's factoring involved, we'll need to simplify. So keep that in mind. So like with this first example, I notice again, we just have monomials. So let's just start with our monomials and we're dividing. So again, keep, change, flip, because we have division. So I'm gonna rewrite, so I've got five X to the fourth, over 8x squared y, um, 8x squared times y squared, but now times, now flip. So now I've got 8y cubed over 15. Now I can go through and um, multiply. So here I've got 8 times 5, which is 40. And then notice how the two variables are different. So don't make this to the seventh power because that's X, but that's Y. So we're just gonna keep it X to the fourth and Y cubed. So now over eight times 15, so eight times 15 is 120. Then again, notice how there's really no other X and Y. So X squared times Y squared. Now with simplifying, I'm gonna go ahead, just kind of a shortcut, cross out my zeros here. So I'm left with four over 12. So that means now still between four and 12, we have a GCF of four. So now here I end up with one over three. Then let's continue with our X's and Y's. Well, here I've got four X's, but taking out two X's, so we're left with two X's. And here I've got three Y's taking out two Y's. So now we're down to one Y. So this is, now if I wanted to rewrite this, cause we really don't need that one here. That is just X squared Y over three. So go ahead and pause the video and try this. You try on your own. And here we go. So again, notice how I'm dividing. So I do need to do keep, change, flip. So this keep, x squared over four, but now I'm gonna change that division to multiplication and then flip. So 12y squared over x to the fourth y. So now I'll go ahead and multiply. So here multiplying, I just have 12, then x and y are different, so keep it x squared, y squared. Over, when multiplying straight across here, you just have four. Then again, I just have x to the fourth y. So now with simplifying, well, 12 divided by four is three. Then here, so that's three or three over one. Then I've got two x's, but we're taking out four x's. So now notice how we're left with two x's, but now in the denominator. Then here I've got two y's, but we're taking out one y. So we're still left with one y, so three y over x squared. So now let's take a look at example two. Same thing, I notice I have division, so I do need to have my process of keep, change, flip. So I'm gonna keep the first, which is x plus one over x squared minus five x plus six. But now we're gonna multiply that by three x minus six over x plus one. Now notice we have 
a binomial. We have whoop, we have a trinomial. Oh, that was weird. Um, so I need to do some factoring here. Well, in the first numerator, can I factor that? No. So I'm going to leave it. But can we factor the second numerator? Yes. Because notice that we have a GCF of 3. So 3 times x, but now minus 2. So I'm going to write out my numerator again, right? Multiplying straight across. So we still have, so let me put again that um, coefficient like that GCF out in the front. So I've got 3 then times x plus 1 times x minus 2. Now let's go to the denominator. Well, here notice we have a trinomial. A is 1. So I'm going to go straight to my parentheses here. What numbers? Multiply to get you 6 and add to get you negative 5. And again, multiplying to get a positive, but adding to get a negative means they both have to be negative. Negative 3 and negative 2. Then can we factor x plus 1? No. Now, I notice I didn't have a GCF anywhere, so I'll just write this straight across. So multiplying x minus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 1. Now let's start simplifying. So I notice here I've got x plus 1 and x minus 2. So in this example, you're just left with 3 over x minus 3. So notice how we're doing the same process as if we, when we were simplifying, when we multiplied. It's just now because we're dividing, you need to keep, you need to change to multiplication, and get the reciprocal flip, that second fraction here. Go ahead and pause the video and try this you try on your own. And here we go. So again, I notice, right, that I've got division. So here I'm going to keep, change, and flip. So again, I'm going to keep the first. So x squared minus x minus 20 over x plus 2. But I'm going to multiply that by x plus 2 over 4x minus 20. So now when you're factoring, here you have the trinomial. So going straight into our parentheses, because a is equal to 1, what numbers multiply to get you negative 20 and add to get you negative 1? Negative 5 and positive 4. And here, nothing we can do about x plus 2. So multiplying straight across, so I'm going to rewrite my numerator as x minus 5 times x plus 4. Ooh, let me extend that, times x plus 2. Now let's take a look at the denominator. Nothing I can do about x plus 2, so we're going to leave that. But you should have noticed we have a GCF, the second denominator of 4. So 4 times x minus 5. So I'm going to put that GCF out in front for when we're multiplying straight across. So 4 times x plus 2 times x minus 5. So now with simplifying, I notice I have x minus 5 and x plus 2. So your final answer in simplified form after dividing these two rational expressions is x plus 4 over 4. Now for those who want to go, but don't, aren't we supposed to divide the 4 by 4 to get 1? No, because that is x plus 4. That is its 1 all together. That is not 2 separate. So here you're going to leave this as x plus 4 over 4. So now example 3. This one's just written differently, but we're still dividing because notice how we have the fraction bar. So I'm just going to write this out. This is the same as if I had b plus 3 over b squared plus 6b plus 9 divided by b plus 2 over b squared minus 9. So that is the same as, again, because this is our division bar, so that's just writing it out as if um, had we seen it before. So again, we're going to keep change flip because we're dividing. So I'm going to keep, so I've got b plus 3 over b squared plus 6b plus 9, but now we're going to multiply that by b squared minus 9 over b plus 2. So now multiplying our numerators, I notice nothing I can do about b plus 3, but 
This is a difference of two perfect squares because that's b squared minus nine. So that is our difference of two for perfect squares where we now take the square root. So here I've got b, but then the square root of nine is three. So b plus three times b minus three. So now I'm gonna write this out multiplying straight across, right? So in my numerator, I've got b plus three times b plus three times b minus three. Then the denominator. Notice here we have our trinomial. So what numbers, straight to the um, parentheses, right? Because that's um, a is equal to one. What numbers multiply to get you nine and add to get you six? Three and three. So b plus three times b plus three. Now, usually we could write that as b plus three to the second power. For the factoring and simplifying, we're going to leave this in factored form. Then nothing we can do um, with just b plus two. So this is b plus three times b plus three times b plus two. So now I can simplify b plus three. And I'm just left with b minus three over b plus two. So go ahead and pause the video here and try this you try on your own. And here we go. So again, notice how we've got our fraction bar. So we have our um, two fractions here. So our first one and our second one. So because we are dividing, I'm gonna go right into my keep change flip. So this is still keep the first rational expression as is, right? So I've got x squared minus four over x squared plus three x minus 10. We are now gonna multiply that by, right? Because we're keep change flip. Now x squared minus 25 is in the numerator and x squared plus four x minus 12 is in our denominator. So now when I multiply straight across, I notice that in my numerator, I could have ended up factoring both because they're both a difference of two perfect squares. So x squared minus four and x squared minus 25. So here, square root of four is two. So x plus two times x minus two. And then here, the square root of 25 is five. So x plus five times x minus five. So now when multiplying straight across, I'm just going to write all of that, keep that in um, factored form. So x plus two times x minus two, and then times x plus five times x minus five. So now going to the denominator. I notice here I have a trinomial, a is equal to one. So you could go straight to the parentheses. What numbers multiply to get you negative 10, but add to get you three, positive five, and negative two. And same thing here, I've got a trinomial, a is equal to one. So again, you can go straight to your parentheses. So here, what multiplies to get you negative 12, but adds to get you four, positive six, and negative two. So multiplying straight across, I'm gonna keep everything in factored form. So x plus five times x minus two times x plus six times x minus two. So now when I start eliminating, right, um, simplifying, x minus two I see here, and see x plus five, but then that's it. So that means we're left with x plus two times x minus five, we're gonna leave our answer in factored form, over x plus six times x minus two. Now, if you wanted to know what the new trinomial is in the um, numerator and denominator, well, you're just multiplying, right? So then you could just do box method or FOIL. So now here's our last example and you try, and then there is an extension question that I'm gonna go over for those who wanted to try it. So again, I noticed that um, in my fraction, so here we've got our division, so we do have to do keep change flip. So I'm going to keep the first rational expression. So I've got 8x minus 6 over 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. 
Now we're going to multiply that by, remember, right, now we need to flip our second fraction here, rational expression. So this is now x squared plus 2x minus 15 over 24x squared minus 18x. So now here I notice I do have a GCF. This GCF is 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 4x minus 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Then here I've got a trinomial, and a is equal to 1. So I'm going to go straight to my parentheses. What numbers multiply to get you negative 15, but add to get you 2? Positive 5 and negative 3. So now when multiplying straight across, so I'm going to keep that all together, right, in factored form. So 2 times 4x minus 3 times x plus 5 times x minus 3. So now let's look at the denominator. Notice how you have a trinomial. However, a is not 1, a is 2. I do not have a GCF, so we do have to do bottoms up. So really, we're going to now start factoring x squared minus 5x minus 6. So here, I'm going to continue that one here for space. So what numbers now multiply to get you negative 6, but add to get you negative 5? Negative 6 and positive 1. However, this is not it. We're not done, right? Because remember, with bottoms up. Whatever our a was, which was 2 that we multiply by, now divide by 2. So now here I've got negative 6 divided by 2, negative 3, and then bring that bottom here up. So 2x plus 1. That is what I need to have here. So x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. So now let's continue with the second denominator. Now notice here, we have a GCF of 6, but not just 6, because I notice this, they both also have an X. So I'm able to take out 6X. That is my GCF. So I've got 6X, then here now I've got 4X, because 24 divided by 6 is 4, and we had two X's, take out 1, now we're left with 1, then minus 3. Because, again, 18 divided by 6 is 3, and we had 1x, but we took that x out, so just 4x minus 3. So here, I'm going to go ahead, because of the GCF, I'm going to put that out in front, so 6x, and then 4x minus 3. So now I'm going to go ahead and start simplifying. Now, I notice I have 2 over, two over 6. Well, that's not 3. That is 1 over 3. So notice how the 3 is still in the denominator. Then I've got 4x minus 3, and I've got x minus 3. So here in the numerator, all we're left with is just that 1 times x plus 5, so that's just x plus 5. Then in the denominator, we have 3 times x here, so 3x times 2x plus 1. So go ahead and pause the video. Try this you try on your own, and let's see what you get. So now let's see how um, with the you try. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and erase this work here. So I've got some space. So again, we are dividing. So I'm going to keep my first rational expression. So here I've got two x squared plus four x over x squared minus 7x plus 10. Now we're going to multiply that by, right, make sure that you should have flipped the second rational. So getting that reciprocal, you should have 3x squared minus 13x minus 10 over 3x squared plus 6x. So now I'm going to go through and start looking at my numerators to multiply. I notice here, my GCF is not just 2, but they also both have x, so 2x. That means now here I'm left with just 1x and plus 2, because two divided by two, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 
and you took that one X out. And the second, you should have noticed with the trinomial that A was greater than one, A was three. There is no GCF to divide out, so you do have to do bottoms up here. So now I'm gonna factor, so I'm gonna write this over here. So we're gonna now factor X squared minus 13X, but now minus 30. Now here in our parentheses, what numbers multiply to get you negative 30, but add to get you negative 13, negative 15, and positive two. But remember, right, with bottoms up, whatever we multiply by, which was three, that was our A in this case, now divide by three. So here you should have negative 15 divided by three, which is negative five, and then bottom up, three X plus two. So now I'm gonna go ahead and write everything multiplied straight across, right? Because this is X minus five times three X plus two in factored form. I'm gonna keep my GCF in the front, so two X, then X plus two times X minus five times three X plus two. Now the denominator. Here I have another trinomial, but A was one, so here in our parentheses, what numbers multiply to get you positive 10 and to get you negative seven? Negative five and negative two. Then here you have a GCF of not just three, but notice how they both also had at least one X, so three X. When you divide that out, you end up with X plus two because six divided by three is two and you took that one X out. So with this GCF of 3x, I'm going to put that here out front. So now I've got x minus 5 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now with our simplifying, 2 over 3, nothing I can do about that. But notice how we have x here in both, so I can cancel out that x. Here I've got x plus 2 and x minus five. So here we're left with two times in the numerator, three x plus two, and then in the denominator, just three here, so three times x minus two. So now for those who wanna try the extension, go ahead and pause the video here, try this extension. Now the key is, you are adding fractions here. So like here, I'll just start the setup and then see um, if you wanted to try it. So this is three over X plus X over two. We are dividing that by X minus one over X. Now what you have to remember is you are actually adding fractions. So when adding fractions, you can't just add them as is because when adding fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So like for example, if I had one third plus uh, one fourth, I can't add them because they don't have a common denominator. So here that common denominator in this case would be 12. So I would have 12 here, but I would multiply, right? So like four times three is 12. So four times one is four. And here, four times three is 12, so one times three is three. So then when I add them, I end up with seven over 12. So this is kind of my guidance for those who wanna try this extension, um, keeping that in mind. So let's see um, how you did. So with this, we need to first combine this into one expression, right? Like one fraction here. So this is, of course, you know, a key change flip but I have X and two. So if you were to think about it kind of like a shortcut, here with the three and four, I multiplied three times four to get me my common denominator of 12. So that means here, if I have X and I have two, that means my common denominator that I'm going to use here to add these two together would be two times X, which is two, that means here I need to multiply by two. That means two times three is six. So in two times X, two X. 
That means the second fraction, what do we need to multiply by? X. So 2 times x is 2x. And x times x is x squared. So now here, when you add x squared plus 6, nothing you can really add together, so you're going to leave it x squared plus 6. That is your numerator over 2x. Now we are dividing that by x minus 1 over x, which in this case now, here we go. Keep, change, flip, right? So I'm going to keep x squared plus 6 over 2x. But now multiply that by x over x minus 1. So now here, I cannot factor x squared plus 6. So nothing I can do about that. So I'm just going to leave this as x times x squared plus 6. Because we're just multiplying straight across. And here, I'm going to multiply straight across. But again, nothing can be factored out. So 2x times x minus 1. Now, here, people are going, okay, well, I couldn't simplify anything. Well, technically, there is one thing you can factor out, simplify, the x's. So these x's can simplify, cancel out, and you are left with x squared plus 6 over 2 times x minus 1. Now, again, if you wanted to simplify that and distribute the 2 to get an even further answer, this is also the same as x squared plus 6 over 2x minus 2.